In the realm of health and wellness, the practice of intermittent fasting, particularly the 16-8 method, where individuals eat all their daily calories within an 8-hour window and fast for the remaining 16, has gained considerable popularity. Touted for its benefits ranging from weight loss to improved metabolic health, this dietary pattern has been embraced by many seeking a manageable approach to improve their health. However, a recent study presents a nuanced perspective on this popular health trend, suggesting that the 8-hour time-restricted eating might be linked to a 91% higher risk of cardiovascular death. This intriguing finding warrants a deep dive into the complexities of dietary patterns and their impacts on long-term health. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. The study in question was presented at the Epi Lifestyle Scientific Sessions 2024 in Chicago, drawing attention not just for its startling findings, but also for sparking a broader conversation about the implications of intermittent fasting. While the study has yet to be published in a peer-reviewed journal, its observations are both significant and surprising, challenging some of the prevailing narratives around time-restricted eating. At the core of this research is an analysis of dietary patterns among 20,000 adults who participated in the Annual National Health and Nutrition Examination Surveys, or NHANES, from 2003 to 2018. The researchers found that individuals who followed a 16-8 intermittent fasting regime were 91% more likely to die from cardiovascular diseases than those who did not adhere to this type of fasting. Furthermore, for those with existing cardiovascular disease, consuming all daily calories within an 8 to 10 hour frame was associated with a 66% higher risk of dying from heart disease and stroke. These findings are particularly striking given the growing body of research that has painted intermittent fasting in a positive light, suggesting benefits for weight loss, cholesterol levels, metabolism, and the risk reduction of certain chronic diseases. However, it's crucial to approach these findings with a nuanced understanding of the research's nature and limitations. The study is observational, which inherently limits the ability to establish cause and effect. The data on dietary patterns was collected through two 24-hour recalls at the time of enrollment, a method that may not accurately reflect long-term eating habits. As Michelle Rothenstein, a preventive cardiology dietitian who was not involved in the study, points out, dietary patterns can change over time, and relying on self-reported data from a single snapshot can constrain the study's findings and accuracy. Additionally, observational studies are prone to certain biases and cannot definitively prove cause and effect. This means that, while the study's results are compelling, they should not be viewed as conclusive evidence against time-restricted eating. Dr. Cheng Han Chen, an interventional cardiologist not involved in the study, also highlighted that these findings contrast with many previous studies showing the benefits of time-restricted eating on cardiovascular and metabolic health. He suggested that there might be differences in the baseline characteristics of the study groups that could account for the unexpected results, including potential confounding factors related to participants' demographics and health behaviors. Despite these limitations, the study's findings contribute valuable insights to the ongoing discussion about the impact of intermittent fasting on health. They underscore the importance of further research to fully understand the long-term effects of this dietary pattern, especially given the lack of extensive long-term human studies on intermittent fasting. Dr. Avantika Waring, chief medical officer at a cardiometabolic care telemedicine company, remarked that the study highlights how short-term outcomes might not always predict long-term health impacts. She suggested that, while intermittent fasting may aid in weight loss and improve some metabolic markers in the short term, it may not provide lasting cardiovascular benefits. This perspective is critical for individuals considering intermittent fasting as a strategy for health improvement. It emphasizes the importance of personalized dietary recommendations, considering individual health goals, medical history, and lifestyle factors. The best dietary patterns are those that can be consistently maintained over time, taking into account personal preferences, socioeconomic status, and overall lifestyle.
Maggie Evans, RDN, the manager of nutrition programs at a telemedicine company, and Dr. Waring both stress the significance of focusing on the quality of food consumed, regardless of the eating pattern. They advocate for a diet rich in unprocessed, nutrient-dense foods as the cornerstone of good health. This approach aligns with the broader principle that no single dietary pattern fits all, and the most effective diet is one that is sustainable, enjoyable, and tailored to individual needs and goals. In light of the study's findings, it may be tempting to dismiss intermittent fasting altogether. However, it's essential to remember that dietary science is complex and continually evolving. What this research offers is not a condemnation of time-restricted eating, but rather a prompt for further investigation and a reminder of the nuanced nature of nutrition and health. It highlights the need for more comprehensive, long-term studies to explore the effects of intermittent fasting and other dietary patterns on various health outcomes. Only through such research can we develop evidence-based dietary guidelines that truly reflect the complexities of human health. So. Where does this leave individuals curious about or currently practicing intermittent fasting? The key takeaway from this discussion is not to fear or entirely dismiss the 16-8 fasting method, but to approach it with informed caution and a broader perspective on health and nutrition. This study serves as a valuable piece of the complex puzzle of dietary research, suggesting that, while intermittent fasting can offer benefits, it may not be suitable for everyone, particularly those with existing health conditions like cardiovascular disease. For those considering intermittent fasting or any dietary change, the most critical first step is consultation with a healthcare provider or a nutrition expert. Such professionals can offer personalized advice based on your health history, goals, and the latest scientific findings. They can help you weigh the potential benefits and risks of different eating patterns, including intermittent fasting, ensuring that your diet supports your overall health without unintended consequences. Moreover, this research underscores the importance of not just when you eat, but what you eat. The quality of your diet, prioritizing whole, unprocessed foods rich in nutrients, is fundamental to health regardless of your eating window. Incorporating a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats can support heart health, metabolic health, and overall well-being, aligning with the advice from nutrition experts in the field. In navigating the vast and often conflicting world of nutritional science, it's crucial to stay informed, open-minded, and critical. Research studies, like the one discussed here, contribute to our understanding but are rarely the final word on any subject. As new evidence emerges, recommendations may evolve, highlighting the dynamic nature of nutrition science and the need for ongoing research and dialogue. Ultimately, the best diet is one that is balanced, sustainable, and tailored to your individual needs, a principle that remains constant amidst the ever-changing landscape of dietary trends and research findings. By focusing on the quality of your food, listening to your body, and seeking professional guidance, you can navigate the complexities of nutrition to find a dietary pattern that supports your health and lifestyle. As the conversation around intermittent fasting and its impact on health continues to evolve, it's an exciting time for both researchers and the public. Studies like this contribute to a deeper understanding of how timing and dietary patterns influence health, encouraging a more nuanced approach to eating and well-being. So, whether you're an intermittent fasting enthusiast, a skeptic, or simply curious, remember that the journey to health is personal, multifaceted, and always evolving. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay engaged with your health in a way that feels right for you.